So, Johnny, whilst there's been a lot of talk about there being a digital euro, how close are we actually to it? Well, you're right. Um, you know, this whole conversation of digital currencies um, and the potential for digital euro really got sparked off by Facebook's Libra project just over a year ago. Um, and then we've seen early this year, obviously, the Chinese um, launching their digital currency themselves. But just recently, last week indeed, um, five of Europe's leading economies have called for a ban on stable coins being used in the private sector until there's some form of regulatory oversight. And these calls are being expressed under the pretense to protect consumers over fears of money laundering. However, if we saw a digital currency, it could actually prevent seriously sovereign states' ability to manage and manipulate their economies. Given the fact we've got interest rates almost zero at the moment, governments have lost a key monetary tool in being able to um, control their economy. But perversely, a digital currency could provide them with another lever in which to control monetary growth um, rather than just relying on interest rates. Because a digital currency enables targeting of money, um, helicopter economics, to those that really need it. So it's not like furloughing where everyone gets it, but much more focus. And this could actually help in the same way if we suddenly see inflation rising, they could put a transaction fee Instead of putting interest rates up, they could actually increase the cost of moving and buying goods so they could then dampen down the flow of money. So it's interesting that um, we've seen this announcement talking about a potential ban on stable coins. This could impact um, on the um, DeFi sector where you've got companies like Reserve with 100 odd million, uh, MakerDAO with 480 million, even um, Synthetics, which is 640 million. And these are all using algorithms and smart contracts. And the reason they're under threat is because the EU only wants stable coins that are backed one to one um, against the actual euro. Meanwhile, the managing director of the MF, former managing director of the MFI, Christian Lagarde, recently told Bloomberg that they'll be making an announcement very soon um, as to whether they're going ahead with the digital euros, euro, a digital currency, a euro. However, she did say we have a responsibility to ensure that our citizens have choice and cannot be excluded from the payment ecosystem due to the unilateral actions of others. So watch this space.